Good soup. Day three. Okay, so the soup of choice today is carrot soup. A lot of you are asking for carrot soup and butternut squash, so I just chose carrot. Obviously, start off with carrots, right? Before I peel them, usually when I peel things, I'll just put some parchment paper down and it's like an easy cleanup. Also a quick tip with peelers, they go both ways. Did you know that? Just like your mom. Also these ends right here, I'll usually take the peeler and just kind of take it off like that, nice and clean. It's better to do that than to waste it and cut it off, you know? Like you get less waste when you just peel the end off, is what I'm saying. Then I've got some of these carrots for my garnish on the soup. I'm just gonna do a couple, probably some of these purples. Add your rubber band to your rubber band ball and it's growing. Check it out, dude. It's getting bigger over time. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. Look, easy cleanup. Just roll that up and you can save those trimmings for your stock as well, which is what I'm going to do. It's soup month. We're making a shit ton of stock, so we got to stay stocked up. No pun intended. I'm using just a little nub of ginger as well. What I do is I just take a spoon and that's how I peel my ginger right there. And then garlic, I use the stuff in the bag. Don't be judging me, it's a lot easier. I saw everyone commenting about that. Like, why are you using packaged stuff? It's fine. Pretty much every restaurant I've been into uses bulk garlic like this. I've even been in Michelin star restaurants where they have garlic that's already peeled for you in the container, good to go. It's just so much easier. If you could find it like already peeled and ready to go, just go for that. Unless you're not like me, I go through a shit ton of garlic. That's why I do it. Bench scrapers, one of the most handy tools. Now for the carrots, just, you know, kind of rough chop them. Try to do them like all the same size so it cooks evenly. Doing roughly three quarts of carrots. About two pounds, it looks like, of carrots. Yeah, we got a lot of carrots. This is cheap too. I mean, this is bulk carrots. This will cost you probably like 80 cents, some shit like that. So this is a really cheap soup. Okay, now I'm just gonna make a little spice blend. This is gonna be a curried carrot soup. It's gonna make my own little curry. I'm gonna do some Ceylon cinnamon, some yellow mustard seed, and just like two green cardamom pods. Red pepper flake, some turmeric, four corn peppercorn mix, and one bay leaf. Take a look at that, Michael. Isn't that pretty? That's our spice blend right there. I'm gonna try to choke Michael out again with one of these bay leaves. <laughs> So we're doing a healthy amount of olive oil, extra virgin. Then here's our garlic and ginger. See, once again, the bench scraper, great tool, right? A little salt, all that going in. You hear that snap, crackle, pop? That's what I wanna hear, that's the mustard seeds popping. Now I'm just gonna toss in the carrots. Just gonna save the rest of this for stock, I'd say. I'm adding some of this stuff right here. Maggie, if you know, you know. And then just some vegetable stock. That's another thing you can make on your own, vegetable stock. I just bought it in the box today because I didn't have any and I didn't feel like making it. I mean, you don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make vegetable stock, that's why. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna let this simmer and then we'll come back to it at that point. All right, dude, so it's been simmering for like 30 minutes. Michael and I were just playing Xbox. So this is what we want right here. See how it's still simmering? The carrots are soft. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna add some half and half and then I will blend it. Gonna take the bay leaf out so we don't choke Michael. Or should we leave it in? Ah, oh, f it, let's leave it in, huh? Now for this, we're gonna wanna blend this in an actual blender. So what I'll do is I'll take the stick blender first and just like kind of run it through. And then I'll just throw it all in here and blend it till it's nice and smooth. And also I have some leftover stock. I'll just toss that into my desired consistency. So if I want it to be thinner, I'll just add some more. If I want it thicker, I'll add less. Okay, I blended the shit out of this for like two, three minutes. Whenever you're blending something like this, you wanna just let it go so it's nice and smooth. And then I'll even pass it through a sifter like this. Good old sieve. I just wanna make sure it's super smooth. Now I've had to do buckets and buckets full of this stuff and it just takes patience. If you're doing a batch like this, you're fine. Blend the shit out of it, be patient, it takes only a minute. Can check our consistency here. This is actually perfect. This is what I want right here. Not too thin, not too thick. And now we can actually taste it. So from there, I'll season it to my desired taste. Add some salt, some citric acid. I might just do a touch of cayenne. Good, add some more cream actually, a little more cream. 
All right, dude, so what I'm doing right here is I'm cutting these carrots for garnish. Cut some small chunks and roast them off in the oven real quick. What I'm doing here is called a roll cut. So what you do is you just cut out a slant and then you roll it, same thing. A little bit of olive oil. Into the oven they go, huh? I got a bird in there too. I'm doing a video on uh, making your own chicken stock for egg drop soup, so stay tuned. All right, so uh, which which bowl should I serve this in, dude? Green, black, which one do y'all like more? I don't know, I kind of like this one. Is it blue? Is it blue? Is it blue or black? I can't really tell. Can you tell? Also, can you like the video? I like this one. All right, and there we go. We've got some, some good old carrot soup. Good soup, right? And like, this was super cheap to make too. I mean, carrots are cheap. What is it, like 80 cents for a good old bunch of bulk carrots? Probably just do like some chili oil and then sprinkle on some za'atar and of course some flaky salt. There we go, we got beautiful carrot soup right there. Check that out. It's nice, huh? Yeah, that's delicious. Mm, try that out, Michael. Hot. Oh, that is really good. Yeah? Is it hot enough this time? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, let's uh, try a different plate up, huh? Some basil on there. Pickled mustard seed. Za'atar. Flake salt. And there we go, we've got good soup. There we go, good soup. You can't really see it, but there's a nicely plated dish. Just enjoy it in a bowl, whatever the f you want. This is just me wanting to make it look nice. Mix all that up. That oh, pretty f delicious though. That's good. Definitely try the soup with the basil in it. That works. Here, try that out. That's really good, like that. Ooh, right? yeah it is. Good soup episode three. Smash like, subscribe.